welcome today i am here with a very colorful topic of 10 plus acid bases and salts chapter maybe you know understand colorful names here the name of comes indicators and style indicators as the name indicates which indicates something some changes in the reaction yes and here these indicators are the substances which indicate about the nature of the solution or the substance is it acidic or basic by changing its color to so dear students indicators are the substances which indicate the nature of the solution of the salt of the substance by changing its color we are having four different type of indicators yes natural indicator olfactory indicators synthetic indicator and universal indicator one by one we will discuss right with theoretically as well as practically yes let us discuss first natural indicator these are the indicators which are present in nature we extract these from the nature first is your litmus litmus is extracted from the lichen right it is of two type blue litmus and red litmus now these are having different color in acid different in base so red red litmus is i have written in the way their abbreviations here original color acid then base o a b in originally it is red in color in uh, acid it is remain red and in base it will become blue red become blue and you know the blue litmus it is blue in nature originally in acid it become red and it will remain blue uh, become in the base let us see i am having the blue litmus tips are there solution is also there tips are also there i will use one blue litmus tip this is there you see i am having acid this is your acid in this test tube acid is there and here it is base is there okay let us see in acid what happens blue litmus becomes red it becomes red okay now i will see the another step if i will use this is another step i will put in base now it becomes blue dark blue right it is blue right so you see the differences in acid it was red in base it is blue so this is about blue litmus yes now red litmus red litmus this is the red litmus now in acid it is red in acid it is red right let us see another step now in base changes blue so acid red base blue all right this is about litmus yeah this is about the litmus there are another natural uh, indicator turmeric you know it is used in our daily life to cook food right it is having antiseptic properties also but let us see what is here turmeric is yellow originally it is yellow and in acid it remain yellow but in base it becomes brown let us check yes turmeric i am having turmeric yellow color see i will dissolve in water i will dissolve in water yes it is yellow right i divide into two parts yes then we will see the change in acid 
I will see when I will add up acid. No change. I have added acid here. There is no change. Now I will add base. I will add up base. Wow! It becomes brown, reddish brown, right? In acid yellow. In base brown. This is about the turmeric. Okay. Turmeric. Next is our red cabbage. No, red cabbage is also a natural indicator. Let us, you know, this is your red cabbage. Now, I will extract its juice, right? It is purple in nature. Naturally, it is purple. And in acid, it, it becomes red. And in base, it becomes greenish yellow. Let us have a practical observation. Fine. So, what I have done, I have extracted, I have extracted juices, juice from here, right? So, this is this color, purple color. Now, I will divide this in two parts. I will divide into two parts, okay? Then, I will use first in acid, then base. Yes, acid. In acid, it is reddish. Acid, red. It becomes red. And when I will add base, when I, I have added base, it becomes greenish yellow. Greenish yellow, right? Acid, red and base, greenish yellow. This is from the cabbage. Alright. So, this is all about your natural indicator. So they can be used naturally as an indicator. Let us come to the next olfactory indicators. Dear students, these are used for the visually impure students. In laboratory, they can, they can judge the acidic or basic uh, environment there. So, we are having clove, onion, vanilla, Right, these all can be used as olfactory indicators because they change their fragrance, right, in acid and base. Onion in acidic medium, it remain, it, it preserve it, uh, its fragrance as it is. But as we go in the basic medium, it lost its fragrance, but is originally is there, right? And vanilla also in base, it lost its fragrance, but in acid, it remain as it is. Alright, this is all factory. Next is our synthetic indicator. Dear students, synthetic indicators are those which are man-made. They are made in the laboratory by the help of some chemicals. Okay, very famous we are having two phenolphthalein and methyl orange. Phenolphthalein is colorless, right? In originally in Acid colorless but pink in the base. Okay, let us see. Practically first. Yes, <clears throat> I'm having in this acid and one test tube, I will use base. Okay, now phenolphthalein. I'm having phenolphthalein here. Right, in first test tube. I have, it is also colorless, it is also colorless. Now let us see when I will add some drops in acid. It remain colorless. There is no change, but at least when I will add in base, yes, it becomes pink. So your phenolphthalein in acid colorless but in base, it becomes pink. Yes. Next. Next is methyl orange. As the name indicated, in originally, it is orange color. Indicator. It's originally is orange. In acid, it becomes red. Acid, red. And yellow in the base. Let us have practically. Yes. Again, Acids and base. This is base. This is your acid. Okay. 
Now methyl orange. This is methyl orange. This is our methyl orange. So let us see. In acid, it is yes. Reddish orange. Reddish orange. But in base. It becomes yellow. Yes, it becomes yellow. In base, it is yellow. Right? In acid, orange, that is orange. But in base, it is yellow. This is about methyl orange. Yes. So, this was about synthetic indicator. Next is our universal indicator. Dear student, as the name indicated universal, what is there in universal indicator? It is mixture of mixture of different indicators, right? Methyl orange, naphthalene, uh, your litmus, all different indicator they are mixed together, and what we got that is known as universal indicator. It is mixture of different indicators. Dear students, it is also known. As, it is also known. It is present in the solution form. It is present in the solution form also, right? Different indicators are there, different, it is a mixture and it gives different color at different pH, right? At different pH, different color is there. So, it is in the form of strip also. That is known as pH strip. We are generally using pH strips, right? It gives different color at different pH. So, we can find out the solutions, uh, this if solutions color can will indicate the pH. pH is the power of hydrogen. Means how much acidic or basic is there? We know now we are having pH scale. Okay, so I will see practically. In acid, the pH indicates right acid and base. I am having acid. So when I will this is a pH paper, universal indicator strip. In acid. Now see, it's red, right? Red means pH is 1. Red means pH is near to 1. Okay? And if same step I will add in the base, it becomes blue. Right? It becomes blue. So this paper, pH paper, change its color. One step change color differently according to the pH. Right? So, this is your universal indicator. So, dear students, so how to remember uh, the different pH? What will be the pH according to the color? I have used a trick here. So, what is that? Either you remember the color's name at different pH, it is there, right? So, you can write Vibhyor. You can remember Vibhyor. Write it in reversive manner, right? In at odd position, you write first the pH from 1 to 12, then at the odd position you write uh, after alternatively at odd number or odd number you write v i b g y o r so right v for violet means 13 violet color means ph is approximately 13 if indigo purple color 11 blue means 9 right and green your 7 neutral yellow means 5 ph orange means 3 and uh, red means 1. So like this you can remember the different colors according to their pH. So dear friend, this was about the indicator. The different colors, substances which indicate the pH or acidic or basic nature of the solution by changing their color. So this was about the indicator and at last but not least our today's thought. That is, winners don't do different things, my dear students. They do the same thing, but in unique way. Our way should be unique. Everybody have a unique talent in them. We have to discover that. So for that, you have to work hard. Don't waste your fraction of second and know your hidden talent and move ahead. Your powers are waiting to explode. With this, I take leave. Thank you all the very much.